Welcome to the captivating world of F1, where dreams become reality and champions are born. Today, we unveil the extraordinary story of Cyber Johnson, a self-made billionaire and racing prodigy in its F1 23 My Team Career Mode. Meet Cyber Johnson, the driving force behind Cyber Reality, a groundbreaking company valued at a staggering $100 billion. As a leader in the technology field, Cyber Reality has revolutionized racing with its extraordinary augmented reality program. With this incredible technology, drivers can now visualize the perfect racing line for any track in the world, pushing the boundaries of performance and redefining what's possible on the race course. But that's not all. Cyber Reality is also amongst the top three cybersecurity companies globally, trusted by 83% of the world's leading organizations. Their cutting-edge solutions safeguard vital data, ensuring security in an increasingly digital landscape. While achieving immense success in the business world, Cyber never lost his passion for racing. He competed in Formula 3 and Formula 2 during his spare time, honing his skills and building a strong foundation in his F1 ambitions. Now, with his vast wealth and unmatched determination, Cyber has taken the plunge into the world of Formula 1. His friendship with Lewis Hamilton, a racing legend, has secured the powerful Mercedes engine for his F1 car. Now with his vast wealth and unmatched determination, Cyber has taken a plunge into the world of Formula One. His friendship with Lewis Hamilton, a racing legend, has secured the powerful Mercedes engine for his F1 car. Raised in a multicultural environment, Cyber Johnson is passionate about fostering diversity in Formula One. He believes that drivers from all walks of life should have the opportunity to showcase their talents on the grandest stage of motorsports. Cyber's relentless pursuit of excellence led him to recruit the finest talent in Formula One for the Cyber Reality F1 team. Backed by their unparalleled skills and Cyber Reality's augmented tech in their cars and helmets, they are a force to be reckoned with. As a hands-off CEO, Cyber Johnson ensures his team's freedom to develop the car, manage upgrades, and run world-class facilities. With his guidance, the Cyber Reality F1 team is poised to make a lasting impact on Formula One history. Cyber Johnson's ultimate goals are to become a constructor's champion and a driver's champion in Formula One, marrying the aspirations of his esteemed company, Cyber Reality. Join me on this exhilarating journey as we challenge conventions, redefine boundaries, and revolutionize the future of racing. Together, we'll prove that diversity and innovation can drive us to unparalleled heights in the world of Formula One. New year, new drivers, new team. Welcome and great to have you with us as we move far away from the paddock to the headquarters of the newest outfit on the Formula One grid. We've been granted exclusive access with an interview, not just with the team owner or the star driver, but both. Because for the first time in modern F1 history, the team owner is behind the wheel themselves. Now is a great time to bring a new team into the sport, particularly off the back of such compelling competition last year. 2022 saw huge regulation changes and it was Red Bull who came out on top in the development race. But that was last year. This year could be a very different story. Let me tell you, this facility is an absolute hive of activity and there is a palpable sense of excitement around the car they've built. Quietly, they truly believe they can challenge at the top and they've had the time now to craft a hugely competitive race car. But theory is one thing and taking on the brightest lights in motorsport is quite another. So how does the owner of F1's 11th team feel as they prepare to be thrust into the limelight of the F1 circus? New driver lineups, Qatar returns, Las Vegas debuts, and the engineering race continues to push the sport and the drivers to new heights. What are they aiming for? Most excited about, most nervous for? Well, soon we will meet them to find out. But first, let's take a look at the brand new car. <laughs> Well, hi, thanks.
thank you so much for having us. Great to be here. I'm going to start with the question that everyone is asking. It's been a long time since we've seen a team owner drive their own car and a lot's changed since then. The sport has really evolved. So how are you going to manage the responsibility of doing both roles? Well, this could go any way if you want to say. This isn't just about me. This is about my team, and I'm behind them 100%. Together, we're unstoppable. And tell me about your teammate. They're clearly very excited to have signed with you. What do they bring to the team? Let's see. That's a very interesting question. It was about finding the right fit for our team. They understand that we're new and appreciate the opportunity we're providing. As a Cyber Reality F1 team, we're looking for more diversity and inclusion in the sport. So tell me about the work on the car. It's clearly a blank canvas. You've done a lot. What have you prioritized? Well, since we haven't really been that much on track, sim data looks good, but we won't know until we get on the track. But I have the best minds here in the business to achieve that goal. Now, there's no getting away from the fact that your competitors have a huge amount of Formula One experience. You are a total newcomer. Tell us where you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains. Well, thank you for saying that, first off. And you're right. Um, as you can see, as I said previously, I have the best talent in F1 that uh, money can buy. But it's not just about money. It's about a passion here at Cyber Reality F1 team. We're looking to change the way people see F1. Now, I could say it's going to be tough and we'll have a better picture after the first race. But since I have the best in the industry and I truly believe that, a fresh pair of eyes can find solutions other teams haven't seen. And we found some unique ways of reducing drag on this car. Now, ultimately, your success this season will be determined by whether you can take positions from other drivers. Where do you believe this car has the edge? Hmm, that's interesting. Where I believe this car has the edge. Well, overtaking. <laughs> I'll go into more detail about that. Overtaking is all about power. So we've been working hard to get every bit of performance out of the power unit. And thanks to Lewis Hamilton for helping me secure the contract with Mercedes powertrain. And that's what we're using. And we're going to try to get every inch of power out of that car. And with so many disciplines and experts working so closely together here at your HQ, who gets the coveted teacher's gold star? Who are you most proud of <laughs> as the first race edges ever closer? Uh, Yes, I see what you're trying to do here. Ah, not pitting the departments against me. Every department is good in each and their own. But um, Arrow's doing a great job. Powertrain's doing a great job, as I said before. Um, Mercedes, straight from the factory, the powertrain is really good at durability. So we can't leave out our chases department. The attention to detail that the chases department has had is an inspiration to the whole team. <laughs> Well, I could talk to you all day. Thank you so much for your time, but I better let you get back to work. There's plenty more still to do. All the very best for your inaugural F1 season. Thank you. Yo, Cyber C here. Thanks for joining me in this F1 23 My Team career of Cyber Reality F1 team. As we saw before, Cyber Johnson is a self-made billionaire and this is his F1 team, so we're going to go along the journey. Um, the way we're going to do this is by realism. I saw a lot of YouTubers out there just doing the cockpit cam and then the races. But the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do it in episode segments. So episode one or race one or part one, however you want to say it, it's just going to be the admin part. Just what you see here, walking through the facilities and seeing what's up, seeing what's not up. And then uh, two would be practice qualifying. And then three, of course, would be the race. So it'd be like race weekend type things. Because I haven't seen a lot of people doing that type of stuff. They just come, they put the race weekend and everything together. But we'll see how that format works out. But that way you could choose whichever episodes you wanted to do.
in career settings here, you see facility management, R&D management is off by me. It's going to be automated. As I said earlier, he hired the best people in the business and they know what they're doing. So he's going to trust them and what they're doing. And he's going to be a hands off type of boss. We'll see how that goes. And department event frequencies increase, which will simulate him as being a CEO or boss and always having to go to these meetings. But the facility management and R&D management is completely hands off. The department has some good news to share. They've just finished working on a facility upgrade. The details are available in your inbox. Thanks. I know these kinds of decisions can be challenging, but I think you made the right call. Okay, looks like it's race weekend time, which will be the next episode. But before we end it off here, let's check our messages. Okay, since I invested $20 million of my own money into the company, we see that the aero department has been upgraded, powertrain, durability, personnel, durability, durability, personnel, personnel, marketing. I mean, some of the cash we accumulate, we can invest better in facilities. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. I pay you to do this yourself, bro. Come on, you got this. I believe in you. New season. Uh, yep, new car smell. Love it. IT members. Okay, these are emails I already read earlier. So let's check out. Let's go take a tour of our facilities before we end off this episode. We still have 2.16 million left over in the bank. And let's check out the facilities. Okay. Looking nice, looking nice, looking nice. Everything's one, everything's still one, still one, still one, still one. What was, what was that email for then, Ethan? I'm so confused right now. Oh, you just put everything level one. Gotcha. <laughs> good job, Ethan. Good job. Good job. Uh, let's go check out our vehicle right now. Oh, wait, before that. We don't want our sponsors to get mad at us. So let's go ahead and slap them right here. Thank you. And we'll also put you on a back wing until we get more sponsors. So there's the car. It's pretty plain, but it'll get the job done. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Don't have anything there. I don't know why it's there. How are finances? Ooh. Negative 18 mil. Yada. We should be fine. It's business. Sometimes you don't always profit. Mm. 17 mil. So we need to earn at least 18 mil to get at least, what, 200K profit by the end of the year? Uh, Hawasa. He's still worth 750K. He's He's good. He's fine. Let me earn something. I have 2.1 million. Um, all of mine should actually been up. Engine wear will be reduced by 10. Let's get that. Let's get the social media because I'm a social media guy. And let's just get all, all the ones we could get. Why not? So we still got 1.4 million. Good. Uh, I just want to check out the uh, R&D. So... Our arrow kind of went down. We're no longer third from the bottom. We're second from the bottom. Um, they're working on the front wing, plank, floor, stiffener, secondary wing flaps. Okay, so where are we? We are now. Man, wow. So according to this, we should be placed from 20 to 20. Wait, no, it's 11 teams, so 22. So from 20 to 22. I don't believe in that. I think we got good drivers and we should place better than 20. But we shall see. Anyway, that's going to do it for episode zero. Or should I even call this episode one? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it different. That will do it for episode one, part one of three. Part two will be practice and qualifying. And part three will be the race. So catch you guys next time. Cyber out.